This is my third show at Jonathan Levine Gallery, my third solo show in New York. I've been working on my show Life Cycle, uh, I guess about six months. I started figuring out the themes of it, the, you know, looking at like life and death and uh, exploring some dark things here and there. The concept is tougher to come up with for me. I like to write a lot about what I'm going to be painting about and uh, take a lot of notes and kind of have it all planned out before I even start the painting process. I think that's because I was trained as an illustrator. We were trained to be able to crank out artwork like a finished piece in like a couple days. So that's my background and I'm actually trying to trying to step away from that and, and slow down and take like a month on a painting if I need to. It's been a bit of a struggle, but that's one of the things I worked on with this show. When I think about the artwork that I was looking at as a kid, it was, uh, it was things that were very vibrant, colorful, bold. It was skateboard graphics. Later on, like in high school, it was graffiti. It was, it was New York subway graffiti, you know? It was, it was things like that where they were really, really bold and in your face. And, uh, you know, I was looking at the art of Star Wars, you know, like, like things, things that were just, I guess, illustration-y, uh, graphic, and uh, so that, that's always been, you know, part of what I'm interested in, and uh, I think I've, I guess, reacted to that, and I try to get away from that sometimes, but it always seems to come back. With this show, I'm kind of, I've been trying to come up with, like, situations not necessarily stories. I guess I'm trying to leave the narrative kind of up in the air, open to interpretation. There are characters, but I'm not entirely sure what the characters are all about. I'm looking more at the situation, uh, like a painting of a bird maybe is rescuing something precious like a, a skull, maybe it's someone's soul. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to look at it. In terms of writing about my own work, it's, they're not really like stories, they're more, uh, I'm just jotting down notes, ideas, sometimes dreams, uh, things my kids say, things I see on TV. I watch a lot of TV. <laughs> I find inspiration all over the place, and um, you know, movies, other artists, things floating around in my head. I'm still learning, you know, still learning what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. For me, that's part of the fun, you know, I mean, as soon as paintings start becoming work and there's a total formula, that's when I start to lose interest. So I'm just trying to keep it fun and fresh. I want to dive into oils. I want to, I want to start looking into painting even more traditionally, maybe doing some research on the old masters and see where it takes me. You know, in high school I thought that oil painting something extremely realistic, like photographic, I thought that was like the pinnacle of painting. And obviously it's not. I'm also starting to do some screen printing. So that's something that it's going to be fun. I'm going to write a book. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This kind of like my first spray paint mural I've, I've done in the last 10 years. I haven't really messed with spray paint, so it was kind of taking me out of my uh, comfort zone, I guess. <laughs> it's a little messy. I, I'm going to kind of like break the rules of graffiti and use some brushes. Dun, dun, dun. That's really like not cool in the world of graffiti, but uh, I'm not really in the world of graffiti, so I'd rather make a nice mural. 
I, I don't feel like I'm gonna be ready for another show for at least a year. I gotta let the things I did for this show kind of set into my mind. I need to understand what I was doing. It sounds so artsy fartsy, but I don't know. I've been pretty busy the last uh, eight or nine years, believe it or not. I mean, there, there hasn't really been a time when I don't have a show looming on the horizon. I had this show and before that I did a bunch of stuff for Miami in December and before that I had a, a solo show in London which was a lot of fun and before that I had a museum show so it's been almost two years of just of just painting 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 so I actually don't have a single thing planned out which is a little bit scary and, and uh, different but I think uh, I think it's gonna be good to just kind of slow things down a little bit. And uh, really, I just wanna spend some time with my family and, you know, take, take my daughters to the zoo, you know? <laughs> I don't really know how it's gonna be, you know? Hopefully it'll be cool. <laughs>